Hello sailors, my name's Andy and this is my wife Misty. A few years ago we bought an old neglected sailboat for 3500 bucks, and I've been working on it ever since. I literally learned how to sail on YouTube, but later we both took some lessons. I used to think that sailing was only for rich people, it's not. I used to also think that you had to sail around the world to have fun, you don't. Click subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and join us, and we'll show you how much fun you can have coastal cruising on a cheap sailboat. Welcome to Sailing Soleil. Hey guys, welcome to Sailing Soleil. My name's Andy, and this is my Catalina 30 sailboat. Today I got a, a little video for you. I wanted to talk about some new batteries that I'm gonna be using for some different things here on the boat. First thing I'm gonna use them for is probably a new battery for my dinghy. As you know, I've been using the trolling motor on my dinghy for a while and it's done me pretty good on Catalina. Um, you know, obviously it's not for super fast or super far, um, you know, jaunts, but going to shore, whether you're going to the beach or going to the dinghy dock, the trolling motors worked out pretty well for me. But um, so, so what I have here is these Watt Cycle Mini batteries. As you can see, it's pretty small to be claiming 100 amp hour. And um, if you look it up, Watt Cycle on Google and on YouTube, you'll see some, there's been some other people that have gone through and done full reviews. I'm not gonna do that because they already did that. So you can check out the capacity and all that good stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to wire up your, uh, your batteries for 12 volt or for 24 volt for your uh, trolling motors, depending on what you have. I have a 12 volt trolling motor, but I have two of these batteries because I may be getting upgrading to a 24 volt. Now, I don't know if Watt Cycle recommends these batteries to be used for trolling motors, but I want to use them as a trolling motor because they're small, easy to put on the, the dinghy and easy to take off because they're small. So, um, and what's also really, really cool about these batteries is they have Bluetooth. So there is an app but the app shows you how much it's charged, how much it's discharging while you're using it, how many watts and amps you're using while you're using it. It shows you, um, it will also show how much amps and watts are going into it when it's charging. There's also a button on here to disable charging or to disable discharging. So the app is pretty cool. I, don't, I haven't used a lot of other apps for other people other than Victron, but this app is pretty cool compared to the Victron stuff. It's not like Victron, it's totally different, but it's very useful. And um, so here it's showing me that my battery is 100% full. And um, anyways, I wanna show you how to wire them up for 12 volt or you know two batteries for 12 volt or two batteries for 24 volt. So let's get onto that. All right, it measures nine inches wide, eight and a quarter inches tall, eight and a quarter, and then five and three quarters wide. That's the size of my hand. Here's a, here's a pair of sunglasses. Pretty small. Here's my iPhone. So that shows you how small it is. So there you go, zero. Twenty-two pounds, twenty-one point nine six point nine eight. The boat is moving, so that's why it's fluctuating a little bit. Man, the wind is really howling today. Check it out. Okay, the first way I'm gonna show you how to do it is called wiring them in parallel. So what it's gonna do is it will keep the batteries being 12 volt, but it will double the amp hours. So when we wire it this way, we'll have 12 volts, 200 amp hours because we have two batteries. So let's wire it up parallel. Okay, when you wire in parallel, like I said, you're gonna keep it to be 12 volt, but you're gonna double the amp hours. So how you wire it is you have the red to red or positive to positive on your batteries, then you do negative to negative on your batteries, and then you take your load out like that there. So let's wire it up. And what's nice about these watt cycle batteries is they give you 
they give you long and short bolts to go in there. So that's kind of kind of helpful. So first thing first, well, we're gonna do both of these in here on this side. And we'll have it come this way. Now, this one will go here. Now, um, this guy will go here. And this guy will go here with both. I'm not gonna string I'm not gonna tighten these down, but obviously you would you would tighten those down nicely. So there you have it. They give you these little caps also, so you can protect your terminals. That way you don't get a an accidental ground. But there you have it. So that is wired in parallel. We're keeping it 12 volt, but we're doubling the amp hours with it like this. So if I was to hook this up to my 12 volt anything, I would have a 200 amp hour battery bank. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to wire up two batteries, two 12 volt batteries in series so that it is a 24 volt battery. And when you do it in series, it will be 24 volts, 100 amp hour. So you're taking it and you're combining the volts, not the amp hours. And how that is wired is you're gonna take your negative to positive like that then you will take your positive and go out and your negative and go out and that will double the voltage but keep the same amp hours now one other thing to keep in mind is you always want to use the same uh, you always want to do this with batteries that are the same amp hours preferably two of this identical batteries from the same manufacturer that'll give you better results um, but don't mix amp hours like a you know, a 50 amp hour and a 100 amp hour. You can't do that. It's got to be the same amp hours. And then, oh, I guess I could just use the short ones for this. And short. Short. So this here is wired up as 24 volts, 100 amp hour. And that's how you would wire that in series. So this would power a 24 volt trolling motor or anything else that you need 24 volts for, but like a, you know, battery bank on your, on your motorhome, on your sailboat, on your powerboat, whatever. Um, and also Watt Cycle, they sell these cables right on their website and they're pretty nice. And what I like about theirs is they're pretty flexible. A lot of these are very rigid and these are pretty flexible. So you can get these right on their website too. But this is 24 volt. 100 amp hour. Okay, I wanted to do a uh, like an endurance test and see how far and how fast and everything these batteries go. But as you can see, it wouldn't be a, a fair test today. It's super windy. So it would look like I'm going super fast in, in one direction and then super slow in the other direction. Also, if I'm going against the wind, obviously that's gonna use more energy. So we're not gonna do that today. I might save that for another time. But I do wanna show you the app and how the app shows you how much uh, amps and watts you are drawing out of the battery. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna hook it up here. I've got my 55 pound thrust trolling motor. It's nice because it's super small, you know? It's really nice. So let's hook that up. Okay, so there we go. We've got it wired up. We're on, it's showing full power here. Now let's check the app and see what the app says for um, the power. Okay. So let's go back here and make sure that we have the right battery. Let's see if, which one we're on. This one says 99%. Okay, so this, this is the right battery. I just turned this on and you can see the propeller moving over there. And then it was showing the activity here. Wow, there is a lot of wind today. All right, so I've got the 
65 or the 55 pound thrust trolling motor turned up all the way and it shows here that I'm taking 631 watts at 50 amps so I'm I'm drawing 50 amps out of the battery right now as we speak and uh, it's showing the amps and the watts So one of these days I want to do an endurance test and see how long these batteries will go on full power. If you see my last electric dinghy video, that was with a 30 amp hour battery. So this is a 100 amp hour and I'd really like to see how, how fast and long I can go with it. So one of the main reasons I like these watt cycle batteries with the Bluetooth is it eliminates the need for a uh, battery monitor. It's, it's got a built-in battery monitor with the app, so you can see how much is drawing from it, you can see how much charge you have, all that stuff that, you know, that's just extra wiring that you're gonna put in your boat or your dinghy or whatever. Um, so you don't need to wire up a shunt and a battery monitor and all that if you have Bluetooth connectivity that tells you all the information you need to know about your batteries. So that was a really big deciding factor for me. Um, because I like to use my batteries in different things. i um, trying to go more electric, have less propane, all that good stuff. But um, I wanted to thank Chris from Flight Level Zero on uh, SV Aeronautical. He's the one who turned me on to Watt Cycle for these batteries. Thank you, Chris. They're awesome. Um, and so there you have it. That wasn't like a review because today wasn't really the best day to go out and stress test or endurance test the batteries on the water. But um, it did show you a lot of the features, why I like it. I like their cables because they're nice and flexible. Um, you know, but mainly it's the size and the Bluetooth connectivity is the reason why I like these batteries. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video. Cheers.